Hello guys, what's going on today? My name is Daniel Chip Hatton and I am here to show you how to make a cool time vortex using fractal noise and CC cylinder. So today we're going to be learning how to make this. A quick, simple time vortex or wormhole you usually see within Doctor Who or um, maybe even uh, some Star Wars when the Millennium Falcon is going through um, hyperspace. So that's slightly we're going to learn to make today. Um, if you know, I made this this here back in uh, 2013, and it was disastrous. You couldn't even hear what I was saying. You know, so bad it was. So today we are going to be looking how to make a better vortex, and hopefully you'll be able to carry out what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, first thing you'll need to do is create a new project. I shall record the example. You will then make new composition. This shall be called, I'll guess that later, 1920 by 1080 will make us 10 seconds long. And then we shall call this Vortex. And then we shall create another composition, same as that, and all that, the same settings that we're changing the height to 9000. This will be like the texture, the thing that, the actual vortex itself, and then we'll 3D map it later. Not 3D map, you know what I mean. Uh, br brain, not working. We'll create a new solid, make it black, make sure it's to the comp size, so if these settings are wrong, whatever, just you need to click that. Simple as. Next thing you'll do is go down to noise and grain and fractal noise. And you will, this is the settings I use. If you have, if you have a preference for fractal noise, you can experiment, but this is the settings I've been using. Um, cloudy spline. Invert. Bring up the scale maybe to 150, let's see how it looks. No, maybe a little, a little too big, maybe 120. Yeah, I think that works. We're then going to go into the sub settings. What this is going to do is just going to move our vortex a bit. We're going to move it. Would it click the stop watching the sub offset, then go down. Or you just drag it. Just make sure this value is always at zero. That we need to go in a straight line, uh, purely because we need it to be straight. Because for when we, whenever you like, sort of cylinder, there'll be a seam, and we're going we're going to cover that seam by duplicating duplicating the layer and. For that we need it to go down straight so the seam line is not so visible. Sorry, I didn't tell you what I did. Alt click on the stopwatch on the evolution and then click time star 150. This just makes the entire thing move and doesn't make it makes it more organic than still. And then we're going to duplicate this layer. Going to transform, right click transform on the flip horizontal tool. The next, we're going to grab the rectangular tool. If you don't have this, just hold click and go to rectangular tool. Then we're just going to drag to this side, maybe make it. Don't you do this just so it, the seam line. line Later does not become so noticeable and therefore just become a bit more fluid. And then press F, drag it to hell, then invert. Therefore, when you flip the texture, it's, it loops around and therefore there's no seam line. Good. Good os. Great. Um, that's the basics of our vortex done. That's now we just need to go into our main comp. 
we're just gonna name this as well. I forgot to name it. Uh, name this uh, vortex texture. Then drag this in to our main comp, and here you go. Simple CC cylinder. Just got to type of CC cylinder here and drag it in. Uh, rotation. But the X rotation, yeah, the X rotation to minus 90. And <laughs> there we go. Four texts done. There you go. Simple as. End of the story, guys. And I remember the comp rains. I'm joking. That's clearly not the end. This doesn't even come close to the example I showed you earlier. And I have fooled you all. I'm joking. Um, we're going to make a new camera. We're going to make it a 15mm camera. First of all, we're going to be changing these settings. You don't need to uh, enable depth of field for this. And we're going to take out the zoom and make it very wide. This just drag it. This also just increased the length of the entire thing. It makes a bit more of a daunting, mesmer, mesmeric, dyslexic, sorry. Just makes it very more, I don't know, just being more vortexy. I like to think this is how you would see for your vortex. I don't know. That's my that's my artistic view of it. Um, go into the camera options, press, press R. And Z rotation, stop click, uh, stop watch it towards the end, and give it a few rotations. And yeah, that'd be enough. And cool. So this gives a bit of a bit of a swirl. You know, click out of that. Click down transformation. Position your point of interest to click on those. You're then going to zoom not all the way out, but zoom into the vortex. And that's it to be honest. If you like a gray skull like a great grayscale vortex, um then I think this is you, that's you, that's you done. This is the vortex, this is the time vortex done for you. You have you don't need to really do much else does. It's just coloring it is the next step we're going to be taking for this, uh, to, uh, for this uh, tutorial and for this vortex. Um, I went for more of a red sort of rose sort of vortex for this time. I'm going for more turquoise, more green, more blue. Um, for we need to duplicate our vortex. We're going to make this vortex color two. And for me, I'm gonna be using trap code shine purely because it's the simplest thing that I can use. It's one of the better things I can use to color it. I'm gonna make this deep sea. Change it to add and put the ray length to zero. That could be enough for you, but we're going to add more. We're going to enable this here now, and we're going to add shine to this. We're going to change this color, electric. We're going to increase that, and set the bunny mode for this to add. To change the source opacity to zero. And there we have it. Our vortex has been colored, in my opinion, a very nice color. We're going to add a little bit more to this. We're going to create a new adjustment layer. We're going to give it a slight Curves adjustment. Make these darker. Lift up these values a bit. Yeah, that 
that's good. Maybe turn down the red channel. Very well. That done. There you go. Just a little bit of grading. We're going to add a new solid. Go make this the flare. Going to go down to video code pilot optical flares. Going to go into the options tool. I'm just going to clear it, everything. Going to create a custom flare just using the glow. You can add more, you can do what your heart's content, content, but for me, the simple glow will do. And take that into the middle. Set this to add. And I'm going to make this slightly That looks good, yeah. Then we'll put this to the bottom. Then we're just gonna go into scale, alt click, not alt click, just click on the stopwatch. Go down to the end of the vortex, scale up to where it needs to be towards the end, just so you don't see the end of the vortex. And just adjust. Where needed. And to me, that is the vortex done. I think this is good. I'm going I might play around with it more. I might add some nice red giant plugins like um, chromatic operation. I I'm sorry, very bad. That just adds a bit more this color, more digital this enhancement to the, to the corners. It may do very little for me, it does quite a lot. Um, just, I think when you have the, the vortex done, main thing you do is just keep playing around with it, keep Keep tweaking it because you're never finished when you're doing something like this. You're never finished when you do the tutorial. When you're finished, you can play around the colors. You can you can mix around these colors like I can make this fire. And there you, that looks really well. Actually, I might keep that. <laughs> I'm really impressed with that. And then change the color of the flare to match to red or maybe an opaque orange. Yeah, orange. Yeah. And you have a complete different vortex style, and you can keep changing things like that's completely green. That does nothing. <laughs> that is a very nice, clean, sort of green, heavenly vortex. Magic? What does that do? Purple? Um, that could work. Um, Mars? Does that do? Same thing as the fire, but um, point is, you're never stuck. With what you got, you need. When you get into the tutorial, the best thing to do is to go off and be a little bit more creative, and add your own colors to things. Don't stop at the tutorial. Then everyone knows you made it in a tutorial. I am. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, tell me what you'd like to see from a tutorial next. Um, in terms of a swirly vortex, I sort of out of the cards because um with this Mac I'm using currently, it's mainly my study Mac. Um, my main PC is back and back home, and that has all the three D sort of software I use to make the swirly vortex. So, anything else, guys? I pretty much be up for it. Anything, uh, doctor related or anything else. If you watch my stuff and you know the visual effects I make, you know there's a very wide variety of stuff I'll be willing to teach you guys. But anyway, till next time, guys. Please comment. Uh, what you need, like this video if you have gained something from it, and remember to subscribe. Okay, thanks guys, and see you later.